Hello everyone, I am Siddharthan. On May 13th, 2024, OpenAI has launched its flagship model GPT-4O which stands for GPT-4 Omni. This model demonstrates higher level of multimodal capabilities where it can take voice, text and image as input and generate output in any of these formats. In this video, let's look at the demo of GPT-4O and understand its different capabilities and how we can integrate this with our applications once it is available as API. So first, let's look at this demo. Hey, how's it going? Hey there, it's going great. How about you? I see you're rocking an open AI hoodie. Nice choice. What's up with that ceiling though? Are you in a cool industry style office or something? Well, can you take a guess at what that might be doing based on what I'm showing you here? Hmm. From what I can see, it looks like you're in some kind of recording or production setup. With those lights, tripods, and possibly a mic, it seems like you might be gearing up to shoot a video or maybe even a live stream. Yeah. In fact, we've got a new announcement to make. That's exciting. Announcements are always a big deal. Judging by the setup, it looks like it's going to be quite the professional production. Is this announcement related to OpenAI, perhaps? It is. And in fact, what if I were to say that you're related to the announcement or that you are the announcement? Mm, me? <laughs> the announcement is about me? Well, color me intrigued. Are you about to reveal something about AI or more specifically about me as a part of OpenAI? You've got me on the edge of my... Well, I don't really have a seat, but you get the idea. What's the big news? Yeah, we've got a new model that can interact with the world through audio, vision, and text. Right, so this is the demo that they have kind of launched yesterday. So again, there are so many things to look at in this video. So again, it's the ability to have like a very free flow of natural language, human like speech and you know the user can stop it in between add in their prompts and ask it a different question and all these are amazing and the capability to look at this video and image and make sense of it so all these are really amazing and that's what they have given this as gpt 4 new flagship model that can reason across audio vision and text in real time so uh, as far as apis right so gpt 4 has been available for text and uh, image but the voice aspect is not released yet even in chat gpt they have introduced it for uh, you know gpt plus uses so i'll show you how you can access it but the voice thing is not available yet so the, it's said to be launching in a few days or weeks but this is like really amazing so we still have to wait and see if the you know actual product is as good as the demo but i'm really confident that it would be so we can just look at the other aspects of this so gpt 4 O for Omni is a step towards much more natural human computer interaction. It accepts uh, as input any combination of text, audio and image and generate any combination of text, audio and image outputs. So I hope by this point you know what is meant by multimodality. So multimodality is when you don't have a single type of input. So in this case you have text, audio and image right. So that's, that's what we mean by multimodality. So in some cases of the previous model it can take the input as text and image. For example, the uh, Gemini vision that we have worked as an you know API, so it can take image as well as text, but it can only generate uh, you know images. So that's like one example. But this model can generate uh, output as text, audio as well as uh, images, right? And it can respond to audio inputs in as little as 232 milliseconds with an average of 320 milliseconds which is similar to human response time in a conversation which is great so again we got like a very little latency and it matches gpt4 turbo performance on text in english and code with significant improvement on text in non-english languages which also being much faster and 50 percentage cheaper in the apa so these are like really important if you are kind of already using the GPT APIs on your applications on it or your company is working on it and you are like a part of it right so this is going to be really helpful as they are also giving you this option for other languages apart from English as well and the as per their com you know comment it's going to be cheaper so GPT 4 is especially better at vision and audio understanding compared to existing models so we have this different model capabilities including this you know interacting and and two gpts interacting and singing so we have this interview prep and we also have this uh, you know translation and so on so you can go through uh, all of this 
to also give you an idea of what are all the use cases that you can build with it you can also go to youtube and search for open ai and they have posted this demo video and also the different capabilities pretty much the same thing that we have over in their page so please check this out and this is like really great and once we have this as api right so it's it's the image and text is already available so i'll also make use cases with these apis so that we can build some interesting stuff you just have to go to google search gpt 4 o and you will land in this page of allo gpt 4 o so you can go through this so here we have like all this information of the different capabilities so prior to gpt 4 o you could use voice model to talk to chat gpt so this has been launched earlier where we could kind of uh, use our phones to kind of talk to it get a voice response but again uh, the voice aspect is not told out yet for gpt 4 o so we can wait for that so these are like few examples and and it's really interesting so here the uh, input is a first person view of a robot typewriting the following journal entries. So we have this text and it, it's kind of like generating this image. And then we are like kind of adding another input with the robot wrote the second entry and so on. So it kind of goes on. So this is like amazing. So we also have this model evaluation results. We have this comparison on GPT 4O, GPT 4T uh, and, and like the different versions. So we have like other models like Claude A3, and gemini pro llama 3 and so on so we have like all these uh evaluation metrics and like it, it's uh the 4 o seems to be like working really amazing even compared to the llama 3 which is like a 400 billion model so go through this and and again as i said it, it's like really interesting and i can't wait to build use cases on this like let's uh work on those use cases and build interesting stuff with this it they have also given like how they have increased uh the speed and and now it takes kind of like fewer tokens for different languages so we are seeing like local languages in india so if you want to kind of use this in the chat gpt you can go to chat gpt so here i have a gpt plus subscription so in this drop down you can see gpt4 gpt4 is the usual one and we have this newest and most advanced model so here you can if you want you can just add an image and and, and ask it like what that image is so i have an image where i took it in the morning with my dog when i went for a walk so i'll just ask it like what is this image about so you can do this with the chat gpt port model as well but again i'm hoping that once they have added voice to this right so this is where we would see this so it says that the image shows a dog possibly a golden retriever sniffing at something on the ground while being walked on a leash the scene takes place on a tree line street and so on which is like pretty accurate right so this is what we are saying and here we have this option to change model and so on so again uh, this is amazing and uh i try to make videos on integrating these things with python apis and how we can work with this multimodal capabilities on let's say given a text of how we can generate some images and and pretty much build stuff like this so let's uh look at that in the upcoming videos so i hope everyone is interested as i am for this so check out these sites and and the other examples that they have given and the other use cases and the capabilities that they have mentioned so that's it from my side and I'll see you in the next upload where we can dive more detail into this. Thanks for watching.